Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at your home. Dear students, today we shall study geography subject of standard 10th. Okay students, first of all I would like to congratulate you all that you are in 10th standard now. Okay students, so here today we shall begin with the second chapter of the geography subject of 10th standard. Okay, so the second chapter is location and extent. Students, if you have a textbook, you can open lesson number 2, page number 9, that is location and extent. Here students, you can see two flags are given. With the two flags, some hints and clues are given. Okay, now the first flag you can easily identify. But students, here we will go through the hints which are given here or the clues which are given here and try to find out more information as well as try to identify the flags of two countries the first flag you can easily identify students here it is very important to read to understand so i will read it for you at the same time you to look into the lines or sentences see few hints and flags of two countries are given below using them identify these two countries you can easily identify one of them and hope you can easily identify the other two see the clues student the second largest populated country in the world yes student which is the second largest populated country in the world yeah we know that india is the second largest populated country in the world okay approximately india has 1.3 billion population students we know that china is the first largest populated country in the world second is india the third largest populated country is usa that is united state of america the fourth largest populated country is indonesia the fifth largest populated country is pakistan and the sixth largest populated country is brazil okay student most probably here i would like to tell you in this chapter or in this subject we are going to learn the comparison in between india and brazil okay student have you understood so here we have seen the first clue now now we will learn about the second clue see student the second clue is first famous for spices in the world yes student which country is famous for the spices yes we know that india is famous for the spices in the world right from the beginning or we can say right from the ancient days we know that we have learned in the sixth standard geography students we know that one of the important ports from the south india that is mujiri sport we see the reference of mujiri sport in the erythrine of a sea and this port is famous for the transportation of specially spices so here we see the reference of the spices from india in the ancient literature also so here india is famous for spices such as turmeric black pepper cardamom cumin etc okay student have you understood so here we have studied the second clue now we are going to learn about the third clue that is cricket is a popular sport yes student in india which sport is popular in india cricket is popular okay students yes i will not talk about more because all of you know about how the people of india or the indians are mad for cricket okay students yes now students let's see the clues which are given below the other flag so the first flag is of india okay student indian flag we can say now the second flag and the clues which are given below the second flag let's read famous for samba dance yes student which country is famous for samba dance especially brazil is famous for samba dance student samba dance is the special dance of brazilian people yes what do you mean by samba students this is one of the dances from the western europe which is famous in brazil it is a ballroom 
dance of Brazilian. Yes, what do you mean by ballroom student? Here specially two couples dances together characterized by simple forward and backward steps and somewhat tilt. Okay, student have understood? Brazil is famous for samba dance. Okay, now the next clue we are going to see that is known as the coffee pot of the world. Yes, student, which country is famous for coffee pot? Yeah, definitely Brazil is famous for coffee pot. Why it is called as a coffee pot of the world? Because students, see, Brazil has been producing coffee in a larger quantity or we can say Brazil is the, the top most producer of coffee in the world since one and a half century. Because of large production of coffee continuously, Brazil is called as the coffee pot of the world. Okay, student. And India, from South India, Kerala, Karnataka are the producers of coffee, we can say. Okay, student, have understood? So, here we have studied the two clues of the second flag. Okay, that belongs to Brazil. Now, the last one. See, football is the famous sport in this country. Football is a very popular sport here. So, football is famous or a popular sport in Brazil. Okay, students have understood this much? Very good. So, here we have seen the two flags. Now, students, let's learn about the location extent of India as well as Brazil. Dear students, before understanding the location of India and Brazil as well as extent of India and Brazil, it is very important to understand some of the important as well as basic things to understand the location and extent quickly and properly. Students, let's learn some basic things. You know that it is the map of the world and we all know that the map or the globe is divided into two equal parts. Students, the globe or the map is divided into two equal parts. The line which divides the globe into two equal parts is called as equator. Okay, students. And the value of equator is zero degree. Okay, students have understood? Very good. Now, students, see the uppermost part of the world or the map that I am shading is called as the northern hemisphere okay so this uppermost part is called as the northern hemisphere of the world okay students this complete part is known as northern hemisphere now students the below part that i am shading right now okay this is complete called as what southern hemisphere it means the equator divides the globe into two equal hemisphere that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere as it is divided into two equal parts in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere now we shall study about the prime meridian the prime meridian vertically divides the map into two equal parts okay this is called as a prime meridian and it has also a zero degree value okay students this prime meridian divides the globe into two again equal parts i am shading these parts with a light blue shade color okay see this part okay students this part is called as western hemisphere this complete part is called as a western hemisphere okay student this complete part is called as western hemisphere okay now now i am shading this part is called as eastern hemisphere okay so in this way we have four hemispheres okay named as northern hemisphere southern hemisphere western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere okay have understood okay students now see one more important thing here i would like to tell you that this part 
of the map or the globe in the northern hemisphere as well as in the eastern hemisphere so this part is called as northern or north eastern hemisphere okay students in the same way this part that i am shading right now comes under southern hemisphere as well as in eastern hemisphere so it is called east southern hemisphere okay students have understood see student this part comes under western hemisphere as well as southern hemisphere so it is known as west southern hemisphere okay students now the last one this part it comes under western hemisphere as well as northern hemisphere so it is known as north western hemisphere okay students have you understood very good so student here the world is divided into four main hemispheres northern hemisphere southern hemisphere eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere as well as it comes under north east hemisphere east south hemisphere west south hemisphere north west hemisphere okay have you understood now see student what we are going to study we are going to study the location of india and brazil here we are going to understand the location of india and brazil on the map okay so just now we have studied the hemisphere so we are quite aware about the hemispheres now so as per the hemisphere india located in the north eastern hemisphere okay students now see here brazil is the part of south america brazil located in north northwest hemisphere as well as brazil located in the south hemisphere okay students or we can say southwest hemisphere okay students have understood very good so here now we know the location of india on the world map as well as the location of brazil on the world map okay so th these are the basic information which are very important to understand now student here we can see some parallel lines on the map okay these are the parallel lines okay these parallel lines are called latitude these are parallel lines so they doesn't intersect anywhere so it moves from 0 degree to upwards and downwards okay students yes now here we can see here some of the eclipses or vertical lines these are called as vertical lines or eclipses these eclipses are called as longitude okay these are called as longitude and the value of these lines also starts from the 0 degree okay it starts from 0 degree 0 degree to east Zero degree to west. So here we can see zero degree, thirty degree east, sixty degree east, ninety degree east, twenty degree east, one fifty degree east, and one eighty degree east. At the same time, up in opposite side, that is western side, thirty degree west, sixty degree west, ninety degree west, one twenty degree west, one fifty degree west, and one eighty degree west. Okay, students, I understood. Very good. Now we can see a net is formed on this globe. This net is called as graticule, and graticule help us to understand the location of any place on the earth. Okay, students have understood now. Very good. So this basic information will help us to understand the location and extent of India as well as Brazil. Okay. Now we will try to understand exact location of India. dear students let's try to understand the location extent and boundaries of india with the help of map as just now i have told you india is located in the northern and eastern hemispheres 
of the earth it is located in the southern part of the asian continent students one more important thing i would like to tell about asian continent asia is earth's largest and most populous continent located primarily in the eastern and northern hemisphere okay students now let's learn about the location of india india is situated north of the equator okay now let's learn the latitudinal and longitudinal location of india okay india is situated between 8 degree 4 minute north the mainland to 37 degree 6 minute north latitude students this is the latitudinal extent of india now the longitudinal extent 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east longitude okay students so this is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of india student one more important thing i would like to tell you here it is the seventh largest country in the world with a total area of 32 lakh 87263 square kilometer okay students now indra point is the southernmost tip of india this is very important again student i would like to tell you again indra point is the southernmost tip of india students the northernmost tip of india the easternmost tip of india and the westernmost tip of india are in the dispute so we could not able to tell the last point of the indian territory okay students and it is located on 6 degree 45 minutes north parallel okay students so this is the location of indira point that is 6 degree 45 minutes north parallel okay students so this was about the extent of india now we are going to study neighboring countries and oceans of india students Myanmar and Bangladesh are situated on the eastern part of India as well as Bay of Bengal is also situated on the eastern side of our India okay now let's have the neighboring countries on the north side China Nepal Bhutan are situated on the northern part of India now let's learn the countries on the western side of india pakistan and afghanistan are situated on the western side of india as well as arabian sea is also located on the west side of india now the southern countries sri lanka and maldives these are the two countries that are situated on southern part okay as well as the indian ocean also located on the southern part of india okay students so these were nine countries and two seas with one ocean okay students with this again we will have some basic information that is very important to understand india has land frontier of 15106.7 km the total length of the coastal line of india is 7516.6 km india shares its border with seven countries namely afghanistan pakistan china bhutan nepal myanmar bangladesh maldives and sri lanka so students this is the maritime borders of india with this basic information about location extent and neighboring countries and oceans of india now we are going to study the extent location and neighboring countries of the brazil
so let's learn about brazil now students before learning about the location and extent of brazil let's have some information about brazil basic information about brazil see students brazil is the largest country in the both south america and latin america brazil is the world's fifth largest country by area and sixth most populous country students we know brasilia is the capital of brazil also we know that brasilia is the federative republic country okay the federation is composed of the union of 26 states and the federal district students the official language of brazil is portuguese some part of brazil lies in the northern hemisphere while most of it lies in the southern hemisphere as i have told you also it is lies in the western hemisphere in the northern part of south america continent okay with this basic information let's try to understand extent of the mainland brazil students earlier we have studied latitude longitude and what is gratitude with the basic information let's try to understand the location of brazil the latitudinal and longitudinal location or extent of brazil brazil is located in between 5 degree 15 minute north to 33 degree 45 minutes south latitude and 34 degree 47 minute west to 73 degree 48 minute west longitude so students this is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of brazil okay brazil is the longest country in the world spanning 4395 km from north to south students it is very important to understand brazil is also the only country in the world that has the equator and the tropic of capricorn running through it okay students have understood the extent and the sum of the basic information of brazil very good students let's learn about the neighboring countries and oceans of brazil brazil occupies a large area along the eastern coast of south america and includes much of the continent's interior sharing land borders with uruguay to the south argentina paraguay to the southwest bolivia and peru to the west colombia to the northwest venezuela guyana suriname and france to the north okay students have understood very good it shares a border with every south american country except ecuador and chile okay students now let's have some information about the neighboring oceans the neighboring oceans are north atlantic ocean it is north and north eastern side now south atlantic ocean it is towards south and south east okay students have understood this much very good dear students just now we have studied about the extension location and neighboring countries of brazil as well as neighboring oceans of brazil i hope you have understood now student again a small part of this chapter we are going to study that is historical background of india as well as brazil let's start with the historical background of india in short students we know that india was invaded by various foreign invaders for example invasion of arab in the 11th century muhammad bin qasim attacked india in 711 ad at the same time muhammad invaded india 17 times okay students now 
again one more invention was there that was turkish rule in india muhammad guri attacked multan in 1175 ad with this again one more invention was there the mongol invasion during the reign of tughlaq dynasty mongol attacked india in 1327 ad the mughal empire in the india was founded by mughals in 12th century the mughal empire lasted 300 years and included akbar the great in the 16th century jahangir sahaja and aurangzeb in 17th century after the mughal empire or invention persian inventions were also there on and off india has been invaded by other people also in 1739 the country was once again plundered by persians who did not stay and occupy the land but took great riches back with them after that one more invention was there that was european colonization let's have short information about it portuguese sailor vasco da gama visited calicut on the southern part of india's west coast in 1498 portuguese were the first europeans to begin colonizing india by taking the city of goa also on the west coast by force in 1510 from the 16th century on multiple european colonies were established in india british french danish and dutch all of whom opened many trading stations in the coastal reign see students british india now we will have a short information about India during British rule the british takeover of india was a slow process initiated through trade with the british east india company with the royal navy and soldiers the gradually conquered more and more of the country india was under the british rule for almost one and half century we all know about it india get independence in the year 1947 despite facing several problems like three wars famine situations in various parts and similar issues after independence india is major developing country of the world kashmir war 1947 48 india china war of 1962 india pakistan war 1965 these were the major wars okay students and india pakistan war of 1971 also as well as we have seen the kargil war with all these wars disputes and problems right now india is also a developing country okay students have understood so this is about a short history or historical background of india now students let's have a short historical background of brazil for more than 3 centuries brazil was under portuguese rule brazil gained its independence in 1822 from 1932 1985 for more than a half century it was under a populist military government it has overcome global financial difficulties in the late 20th century brazil is seen as a contributor to economic growth of the world and an important market in the future okay students have you understood so this is the short information about historical background of brazil so today here we have studied location extend and neighboring boundaries of india as well as brazil with this we have studied a short historical background of india and brazil so 
in short in this chapter we have studied a comparison between india and brazil okay students dear students if you have found this information useful to you and liked it then do not forget to subscribe my channel share it to your friends press the bell icon so that you will get current notification of new videos thank you bye